Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the PY question series. In this lecture, I will cover all those questions related to the differential equation. Myself, Dr. Harishkar, you can simply follow my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of the gate mathematics and you can see the various lectures available in this. Another playlist is the IIT Jam Solution. Also, you can see a complete PY question playlist is available here. You can simply follow it and learn many shortcuts to it. The objective is we will cover all those questions related to the first order differential equation. Firstly, I will give the certain shortcut tricks. The first shortcut trick is whenever you have the differential equation of this nature, then there are the two cases provided A is my positive or A is negative. Then if this condition is my, okay, I can explain you this with the help of examples so that you can learn it simple. You can see from the first options, Firstly, check whether they are asking you find the value of y3, whether they are asking you find the value of the y of pi by 2, no, fine. So it means there is, they are not asking you about the solution. So it means if you write this differential equation like of this and then integrate, it means you are trying to find the solution. But look at the options, they are not asking you about the solution. It means there is no need to solve like this manner. You can think about this concept, this y of 0 is alpha, whenever this power is belongs to my 0 comma 1, coefficient is my positive, as I say, a is my positive, then there are the two cases, first one is whenever this alpha is my greater than 0, you will get as a unique solution, whenever this alpha is my 0, you will get as infinitely many solution as here. On the other hand, if this is negative, then you will get a unique solution here. So look at that. When alpha is equal to 0, infinitely many solution. At least two solutions satisfied. Alpha greater than 0, unique solution. Alpha greater than 0, unique solution. But he said at least alpha 0. So the right answer is A is my right answer. Again, you can see if this condition is given to me by here. And again, you can see from the option, they are, are they asking you about the finding the solution? No. So you can check about the alpha. It lies between 0 and 1. What is the meaning of this 0? Whenever this is 0, it will give you the infinitely many solution. Again, you can see 3 over 5 is lies between 0 and 1. And what are the cases of this? Whenever b is my greater than 0, you will get a unique solution. Whenever b is equal to 0, you will get infinitely many solutions. So look at the option. b is equal to 0, infinitely many solution. Wrong. b is equal to 1, greater than 0, unique solution. Wrong. Infinite many solution when b is equal to greater than 0. Wrong. b is equal to 1, which is greater than 0, unique solution is the right answer of the problem. Again, you can see from the options, they are not asking you find the solution. And in this case, the value of this rule is again not applicable because the power is not 0, 1. Now, if you look about the option, what is that even, odd, maxima, minima? A very simple approach, I will tell you. Look at that. x square plus y square plus 1. It is always the even function. So it means y dash is my even function. Once the y dash is even, y is my odd function. Fine. So once y is odd function, so these two op first options correct, second cancel. Now you can think about any of the odd function. X is a simplest one. Is You may choose as x cube. You may choose as a sine x. But the simpler one is my here. Then look at the option y square. So what is the y square is? Basically x square. So does this x square has a minimum or the maximum at the zero? You can see the graphically. This is the graph of the x square and this value is my minimum at the zero. So it is my here. So A and C are my correct answers because they are not asking you to solve the problem. Again, from the option, you can say they are not asking you solve the problem. What is given to you? Y square minus one plus cos x. So clearly say, this is my even, this is my even, every constant function is the even function, this is also even. 
सो इट मीन्स y डैश इज माई ई वन सो वंस वाई डैश इज ई वन वाई इज माई ऑड फंक्शन सो चूज एनी ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल से वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स सो वट इज द ग्राफ ऑफ दिस इज वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स सो एट द ओरिजन डज इट गिव अ मिनिमम और मैक्सिमम बिकॉज द रेंज द डोमेन इज द कंप्लीट आर टू फाइन सो दिस इज नीदर द मैक्सिमम नोर द मिनिमम वाई इज स्ट्रिक्टली इंक्रीजिंग और डिक्रीजिंग find that derivative it is one which is always greater than zero so that means it is a increasing function if you take as a x cube it is odd function what is the derivative of this 3x square which is again always greater than zero so that means it is a increasing function so this option is cancel c is the right answer again you can see from the option they are not asking you you can solve the problem Fine. Again, they are not asking you find the value of this. How you can solve that? Whenever you have the differential equation of the first order of this form, fine. Then find the partial derivative of this f with respect to y. You can see what is the partial derivative of this with respect to y is of this one. Fine. Now check whether this is the bounded or unbounded. This is my second shortcut tips for you. whenever this is my bounded in the interval containing x not then it's a unique if it is unbounded then the no or infinite solution you can see initial solution is my here that means x minus 0 is less than a y minus is less than b this is the right angle now i can find this modulus value this is my 1 this is less than of x and x is my less than a so what does it means it is my bounded so once this is my bounded the only solution is my unique solution you can see whenever it is a bounded only unique solution is the answer whenever it is unbounded then the no solution and infinitely many solution look at the again options they are not asking you you can solve it problem find the y dash firstly from this y plus x square over x so if i consider this is my f what is that del f over del y which is 1 over x so if i take the modulus which is here now you can see initial value is my 0 so when x is equal to 0 this is my unbounded so once this is my unbounded there are the two solutions fine so either it has no solution either or it has infinitely many solution but what is the meaning of this one solution is already given to you so it means the no solution is cancel only case is infinitely many solution is the right answer again from the option you can see they are not asking you you can solve the problem so this is my f what is the del f over del y minus 2y e raised to power minus y square so what is the del f over del y is a 2 y e raised to power minus y square fine now you can see about that at the point of 0 at the point y not is 0 this y over e raised to power y square is always less than 1 so that means this is my bounded so once this is my bounded it means it will give you a unique solution fine so once it's a unique solution what is the solution you can see one solution is given to you as y of 0 is 0 this is my one solution but we prove that it's my unique solution so what is the my ad general solution y of x is my 0 is the right answer and from here if you find that derivative it's again a 0 but he said greater than 0 wrong it is not y change the sign is the not possible so d is my right answer now they are asking you about the solution fine now they are asking you about this solution now you can solve it how you can solve again a very easy firstly check whether this property satisfied yes 0 sin 0 is 0 0 sin 0 is 0 0 cos 0 is my 1 so it is not satisfied now substitute this value here what is the derivative is 0 y is 0 so 0 is equal to 0 satisfied from this case 
if I found the dy over dx, what is that? It's my minus root, it, it is 2 root 2 over 3 root 2, 3 root 3, it is my 3 sin square x cos x. If I substitute here, right hand side is sin 2x, y raised to power 1 by 3. So what is the 1 of 3 is minus, minus of this is here, 8 over 27 power 1 over 6 sin x. Fine. So it will be 2 sin x cos x. This sin x will be sin square x. This value negative is outside and this value will be my 8. 8 is 2 raised to power 3 into 1 over 6. So it basically 2 over 3 of root. Fine. Now you can see this value will be cancelled and both the terms are same. Also, the only difference here is the positive sign. So, if I take this as a positive, then again it's a positive. So, this is also the correct answer. So, A, B, C are my right answers. It may happen that if you look at this is my Y, then if you think about here, what is the answer of this is sine derivative of this is my 2 raised to power 3. Fine. Now, clearly say at this initial point Y naught, this is my unbounded so once this is my unbounded you have the two cases either the no solution or infinitely many solution but the no solution is not possible because one solution is given to you so it has infinitely many solution so if in the examination the, the if if the examiner will take this question and ask you whether it has infinitely unique and here you can get your answer as this man okay Look at this is the homogeneous differential equation. A very simple tips I can give you. There is no need to solve the problem. Firstly, I can write these two coefficients. 5y minus 1, 2 minus x minus 3y. Firstly, try to make write x in terms of x plus alpha and y in terms of y minus here. So I can write 2 plus alpha, I can minus of 2 alpha plus 5 times y minus 3, then it's a plus 15 minus 1. Fine. Now, what is the tips is? Constant term is my 0 always. Whenever you are working on the homogeneous part, constant term should be 0. What is the constant term is? Minus 2 alpha plus 14 is my 0. So, alpha is 7 is my right answer of this problem. You may choose this option as well. It's on your choice. So you can write this is x plus alpha minus alpha is a minus minus plus 3 times y minus 3 is a plus 9 then is a minus 9. Take the coefficient term constant term is 0 that is a 2 plus alpha minus 9 is 0. Again you will get alpha is my 7. If in the examiner if in the coming examination the examiner will ask you instead of the minus 3 this is my here then you can write the two equation, one is here, second is this, you can solve it and you will get the value of alpha and beta. Okay, look at this another one. Now they are asking you about the solution, so you have to solve them. So I can return, this is a constant coefficient, this is 0. So solution will be C e raised to power minus alpha x. When y0 is my 1, so what is the value of the C? C is my 1. So solution is e raised to power minus alpha x. Now look at the first option. y of 1 0. y of 1 0 it means e raised to power minus alpha is 0. That means alpha should be my infinity. Is it belongs to r? Yes. But whenever alpha is infinity this differential equation has no meaning. So that means there is no value of alpha. Limit y x approaches infinity of y. What is the answer of this? e raised to power minus infinity is a 0. Fine. So when it will be 0? When only when alpha should be greater than 0. But if you look for that, he said it's a unique alpha. That's not true. You may choose alpha is 1, 2, 3, any number. In each case, it is my 0. There is no alpha such that y of 2. What is the y of 2 is? e raised to power minus 2 alpha is 1. 
सो वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट माइनस ऑफ टू एल्फा मस्ट बी जीरो यू विल गेट एस एल्फा इज जीरो विच इज इन दर बट ही सेट नो एल्फा सो द ओनली राइट ऑप्शन इज हेयर आई कैन चेक फॉर यू ई रेज टू पावर माइनस एल्फा इज माई टू कैन यू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ द एल्फा आई कैन से इट्स अ लॉग टू द बेस एंड यू कैन सी दिस नंबर इज लाइज इन दिस आर एज वेल सो द राइट आंसर इज डी इज माई करेक्ट आंसर ऑलवेज रीड द ऑप्शन फर्स्टली केयरफुल वेदर दे वॉन्ट टू सॉल्व और दे वॉन्ट टू आस दी कंसेप्ट ओके लुक एट दिस अनदर वन कंसिडर द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एफ इज अ कंटिन्यूस फंक्शन डोमेन इज एयर सच दैट दिस यू कैन चूज एनी ऑफ द फंक्शन लाइक आई कैन चूज दिस फंक्शन ओके यू कैन चूज ई रेस्ट पावर माइनस एक्स इट इज माई नो इट इज लिमिट इज नॉट वन यू कैन चूज दिस फंक्शन बट कैन यू थिंक अबाउट द स्मॉलेस्ट वन आई कैन चूज दिस इज माई स्मॉलेस्ट वन इट्स इजियर फाइन सो देन योर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विल बी टेन वाई प्लस वन विच इज इक्वल टू प्लस वन सो कैन यू फाइंड द कंप्लीमेंट सोल्यूशन एम प्लस टेन इज जीरो सो सी ई रेस्ट पावर माइनस टेन एक्स वट इज द पर्टिकुलर इंटरगल डी प्लस वन इंटू वन सो इट इज वन ओवर टेन सो सोल्यूशन विल बी सी e रेस्ट पावर माइनस टेन एक्स प्लस वन ओवर टेन नाउ टेक द लिमिट एक्स अप्रोच इज इन्फिनिटी सो वेन यू टेक एक्स अप्रोच इज इन्फिनिटी दिस वैल्यू विल बी माई जीरो सो द आंसर इज वन ओवर टेन इज माई राइट आंसर ओके लुक एट दिस अनदर वन ओके दैट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टिप्स फॉर यू यू कैन सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन अ कपल ऑफ सेकेंड whenever you have the differential equation of this form such that y of 0 is my 0 then then its solution will be b a minus y a b minus y which is e raised to power k times a minus b of x fine now you can see i i need a a minus y so i can return this is 0 minus y into 2 minus 1 fine clear now you can see k is my minus 1 a is my 0 b is equal to 2 and the solution is my here so can you find the value of alpha because they ask you about the minimum value so you can solve it easy this is my shortcut tricks otherwise you can think about the second way also you can solve i can open this 2y minus y square you can solve like a bernoulli equation 2y is minus y square which is a bernoulli differential equation that you can solve it on there is one more method you can write like of this this is my dx then you can partial fraction it fine again you will get the solution but i will tell you the simplest shortcut approach as here okay look at this one again i can return this solution is a minus by into y which is again of this nature fine so i can make it in this form so i can write y dash is minus 1 0 minus y a minus b y fine i can choose the because my i need a coefficient of y should be 1 so i can take b as a common so it is minus b minus y a over b minus y fine so basically your this is my 0 and this is my b so if i substitute here and your target is limit x approaches infinity so i can only make on the right hand side firstly fine if i substitute what is a k k is my minus b a is my 0 b is my a over b it is my here so what is the limit as x approaches infinity i can calculate only this side because the left hand side is independent of the x so this value will be positive it will be goes to the infinity so when it will goes to the infinity when this a into b minus y will goes to the 0 and here a is my already 0 so what is that so what is the b in this case b is my a over b 
so y will converges to the a over p so that means b is my right answer of this problem otherwise again the second way is you can solve like this way you can partial them you can use the bernoulli equation as well okay transformation is given to you firstly i can find that dy over dx 3 x raised to power 5 y y square minus here how you can find that dy dv over this v is dependent on the y so i can multiply by y and divide it by y u is dependent on the x so i can divide by x i can multiply by x now substitute it it will be my 2y it is my 3x square into here so 3x raised to power 5 y y square minus x cube 3 will be cancel out x square will be cancel out is a x cube fine now you can substitute the values 2 y will also cancel is so a 2 x cube is my u divided by is my u and is my v now compare this with here so the coefficient is 2 here is alpha over 2 so alpha is my 4 is the right answer the problem okay y is the solution of the differential equation and satisfy the condition again you can see they are not asking you find the solution of the problem fine now find the critical point whenever you have the first derivative what is the critical point is y dash 0 so i can draw it graphically this is my x this is my y so this is 3 this is 1 this is my y is equal to 1 this is my y is equal to 3 then initial condition is y not x is 0 y not is my 2 this is my y is equal to 2 now i can draw the surface graph take any point in between them say 0.5 so when you take 0.5 this number is my negative this number is my negative it means the slope is my positive that means increasing so the graph is increasing fine take any number this value is my 2 1.5 this number is my positive this number is negative so it's a decreasing so this number is my decrease fine when you take 2.5 when you take 2.5 is my positive this is negative so again it's a decreasing fine when you take any point here say 5 positive positive so it is my increase so what does it means when you consider this graph it is my decreasing fine now look at the options firstly i can check about what is the limit as x approaches minus infinity minus infinity here and it's a decreasing it is decreasing so it start from here so what is the limit of this is 3 correct answer limit x approaches positive so it is also approaches toward the one it is decreasing also approaches toward the one so this right answer is one is a correct answer so once you can take the limit negative is my 3 positive is 1 so definitely it is my bounded it is not bounded above because it is already proved that it's a bounded so why not it is the right. so right answers are b c d r y right answer. again remember they are not asking you you can solve the problem so that's why i can look about the graphic otherwise you can think about this case then you have to use the partial fraction and here or you can solve also like of this this tips a minus y b minus y i can taken this number as 1 minus y 3 minus y so you can get a solution a simple one okay i can solve this this for you also so look at that if i write this equation is i can take 1 minus common fine so a is my 1 b is 3 k is my 1 so right hand side is k a minus b x so, and the left hand side is b a minus x a minus y and it is b 3 minus y so what is that k is my 1 a minus b it is e raised to power minus 2x so when you take x approaches infinity this value will be 
zero. So when this will zero, you can say when it will be zero only when y approaches toward the one. Again, this correct. When you take x approaches minus infinity, then this value will goes to my infinity. When it will be infinity, when this denominator part will goes to the zero, that means y will goes to the three. So now and clearly say this is a bounded solution. Okay, look at this another one. Which of the following statements are true? Check about the firstly initial condition. Five one is a one. Three plus one four is a sixteen. Right hand side is four. Cancel out. Three minus one two four. So again four is four satisfied. Three plus one four sixteen. Five of one is one. Sixteen is equal to four. Not satisfied. Four. 3 minus 1 2 2 square is 4 and right hand side is 4 so b or d may be the right answer now how you can solve about this a very simple if i write this equation in this manner x square plus y square divided by 4 xy so clearly say this is my homogeneous once this is homogeneous you can always start from here okay so there is no need to solve it completely but you can write it and then i can tell you where you can stop it quickly It is for v, okay. So x dv over dx is for v is my LCM one minus three v square. Now, if I write here is one minus three v square. It is dx over x. Now you can see the right hand side is the function of the x only. So this is the function of the x only, and this is the function of the y, which is not possible because v I can return as a y over x. So the right answer is. B is my right. You can solve it if you want. That is, it's a minus of six. You can take it as a common, and then you will again get the right answer. Okay, what is that? This is my linear differential equation. Fine. So, what is the integrating factor? E raised to power p dx. So, what is that? E raised to power x cube. What is the integration of this? Is here. Solution is y e raised to power x cube. Right hand side is x square, e raised to power x cube into dx plus c. So I can multiply by three divided by three. So my solution is y e raised to power x cube. This is one over three e raised to power x cube plus c. What is the y? Is one over three c e raised to power x cube. Fine. Now. always as i told you earlier firstly whatever you want to find apply this the, don't need to apply y not what is the limit of y as x approaches infinity this value will be zero whatever the value of the c so the answer is here that's why i'm always ask you whatever the initial condition apply later on don't waste your time to find the value of the c because you can see it is always zero whatever the c here Okay, look at this one again. We need to find this value. I can apply this condition later on. So I can take y cube is my t. Three y square y dash is my d t dash. I can substitute value here. It is my x over three into t dash plus t is sine x over x. Clear? Then t dash plus three over x. T is my three sine x over x square. Now it is a linear. So what is the integrating factor? E raised to power three by x into dx. So that is x cube. So solution will be t times x cube integration of three sine x over x square into x cube is here. Fine. Now I can substitute it as y cube into x cube. Which is equal to three is my outside. What is the integration of this? So integration of the three into sine x. I can take the differentiation of this. So it is my minus x cos x and minus plus sine x. Fine. Now I can apply this condition. Five pi by two. I can return as this number. Fine. So if I substitute here, cos of 2 pi plus pi by 2. It's a zero. Sine of this is my one. So this expression will be so y square 
pi over 2 q which is equal to 3 plus c. Now you can see there is a need of the c. So that I can found from here. So what is the value of the pi by 2? Again this number is my 0. This number is my 1. So y cube y is my 0. So this number is my 0 which is equal to 3 plus c. So c is my minus 3. If I substitute here answer will be 0. So what is the value of the y is? 0 is the right answer. Okay, look at this one. The length of the portion. What is the length of the portion? For the x, it is dx over dy square. Fine. y is from 1 to 3. If you can also find dy over dx into whole square over the dx when you have the curve of y is equal to y. So I can substitute this value. What is that? It is 1 plus, it's a square. So square root will be cancelled. Denominator is my square. Fine. Now, what is this? If I take the LCM, it is 1 plus y square whole square. It is this divided by 1. So what is the integration of this? It's a log of y plus, it's a y, y square over 2 from 0, sorry, from 1 to 3. So what is the answer of this? It's a log of 3 plus 9 over 2, log 1 is 0, minus 1 over 2. So what is the answer of this? It's log 3 plus 4. So you can use your calculator, you can write the cal value of the log 3 and you can get the answer. Okay, the integral curve passes through this case. Okay. Whenever you have such kind of the condition, always think about the exact differential equation. Fine. Otherwise, you can also solve this problem. I can write this equation like here. You can see which is linear in x. Fine. I can found the integrating factor as e raised to power 1 into dy. It is e raised to power y. So, solution is x into e raised to power y y into e raised to power y plus c. So my solution is this which is y minus 1 e raised to power y plus c. So now what is the meaning of the 0 0? If I substitute 0 0 this is 0 this is minus 1 plus c. So c will be my 1 and alpha comma 1 x is my alpha y is my 1 y is my 1 c. So it will be c is 1 alpha is 1 over e is the right but you, you can also solve this problem by the exact differential equation okay now you can see this is my homogeneous differential equation but as i told you i always prefer for exact differential equation what is my m y minus x n is x plus y check whether this is exact or not clearly say this is my exact. So once we know this is exact integration of the m keeping y constant and term in this without x. So what is the answer of this? xy minus x square over 2 plus y square over 2 is my c and y of 0 is 1. So can you find the value of the c? 0, 0, half. Fine. Now look at the options. So I can write this equation here minus x square over 2 plus y square over 2 is my half. So look at the first option. 1 comma minus 2. I can substitute here minus 2 minus half plus half is sorry 4. So clearly say this is not satisfied. Say so 2, 2 will be cancelled out but minus half first option cancel. Look at the second option. Minus of 2 minus of 2 plus half is plus half again cancel third option 2 comma 1 is a 2 is a 2 plus half is half satisfied last option minus of 2 minus of half plus of 2 is plus of half this option is cancelled only c is my right answer always use the exact differential equation when you have the dy dx Okay, look at this another one. Why is the solution of this of this case? Okay, I will apply this condition later on. Okay, I can integrate this part. 
so what will happen is x dy over dx which is x square over 2 plus constant can you find this constant by using this condition so x is equal to 1 this value will be 0 so c will be my minus half so i can say x dy over dx is x squared minus 1 over 2 i can write x on the denominator dy over dx it will be half is outside it's a x minus 1 over x again i can integrate them so y is half ln x sorry half of x is my x square over 2 minus ln x now plus constant fine because you have to integrate so i will apply this condition later firstly we will find the y2 what is my y2 4 half 4 by 2 is 2 minus ln 2 plus c it means 1 minus half ln 2 plus c so you can see i need a minus half ln 2 so it's a positive it's a negative so only the case is half appears this case so there is no need to find the c fine so your answer will be this is the right answer. okay look at this another one the equation of the curve passing through this means y of pi by 2 is my 1 is given to you the equation having the slope means dy over dx is sin x over x square minus 2y over x. So clearly say this is my linear in x, linear in y. Fine. This is my linear in y. So now what is the integrating factor? It is e raised to power integration of this. So that is my x square. The solution will be y into x square is q this into x square is only my sin x plus c so what is the answer of this x square y which is minus cos x plus c so your answer will be always minus of cos x so it is a sin x this cancel this cancel this is there now you can see my solution will be x square plus cos x which is equal to c fine you can find the c by using here but there is no need only option is my b is my right answer of this problem how you can verify it what is the value of the c pi by 2 cos pi by 2 is my 0 it is my c is my pi square over 4 you can see as that's why i always ask you apply the initial condition later on firstly you can find whatever you want okay look at this another one what is given to you here okay there are the several methods i can write this equation like of this manner which is 2 cos x over here it's a linear but if you take it's a cosecant i can solve this by m dx plus n dy form fine i can write this equation is a 2y plus 2 cos x into dx minus sin 2x into dy which is 0 fine so this is my m this is my n so what is the partial derivative of m with respect to y is a 2 partial derivative of n with respect to x minus 2 cos so it means this is not exact so you can find the integrating factor so i can subtract them del m over del y minus del n over del x which comes to be 2 is common 1 plus cos 2x so i i have written whatever you have written after a negative i have to divide by this which is minus sine 2x so the numerator part will be 4 cos square x denominator part i can written as a minus 2 sin x cos x so it will be my minus 2 cot x so the integrating factor is my e raised to power minus 2 cot x and you all know what is the integration of the cot is a log of sin x so it will be my minus 2 of this so it is 1 over sin square x so my solution will be integration of m into this 
टू वाई ओवर साइन स्केयर एक्स प्लस टू कोस ओवर दिस इज माई कोट एक्स इन टू कोसिकेंट एक्स टर्म इन दिस इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ दिस आई कैन इंटीग्रेट दिस कीपिंग वाई एज ए कॉन्स्टेंट सो आई कैन क्लियर दिस सो वट इज दैट इट्स अ कोसिकेंट स्केयर सो इट्स अ माइनस टू वाई कोट एक्स इट इज माई माइनस टू कोसिकेंट एक्स कॉन्स्टेंट आई कैन टेकन एज ए माइनस ऑफ टू सी सो दैट इट विल बी कैंसल आउट सो इट इज माई वाई कोटेक्स सी प्लस कोसिकेंट एक्स फाइन सो इफ आई राइट इज ए कोस ओवर साइन सो इट विल बी माई सी टाइम्स साइन एक्स प्लस वन ओवर कोस एक्स नाउ लुक एट द सोल्यूशन वेन एक्स अप्रोच इज जीरो साइन वट एवर द वैल्यू ऑफ सी इट इज ऑफ वन is a 1 which is a finite so it is unbounded wrong when x is equal to 0 it's a bounded finite fine now when x is equal to pi by 2 this value will be 0 this is my c plus 1 so it depending upon the value of the c so what is that here so what is the value of the pi by 2 4 denominator value is my root 2 fine or i can substitute here what is the cot pi by 4 is 1 so y c plus cosecant pi by 4 is root 2 and what is the value of the y is 1 minus root 2 fine so what is the value of the uh, is there any is there any mistake is there oh sorry it's a cosecant it's a positive it's a positive because integration of the cos cosecant into cot fine it is my uh, can you check it where is the mistake because otherwise this must be cancel out this means uh, this must be negative it means this must be positive okay so it means it will be my here fine so c will be my 1 so if c will be 1 so it's a 0 by 0 form i can apply the allopater rule so it's a cos x over sin x so now add pi by 2 it's a well defined because the denominator is well defined so it is a finite number it means this is unbounded cancel out the right option is c and d are the right okay look at this another one again i can apply the allopater rule or oh, sorry exact method otherwise you can write this in form of this also clearly sees that but i will check about the exactness it is x plus 1 and with respect to x is 1 minus of this so it is not exact i can subtract them del m over del y minus so if i subtract them it is x plus e raised to power minus x i divided by whatever you have written after this n is my here it is my 1 so the integrating factor is e raised to power 1 of dx is so my solution will be i can multiply this by e raised to power x keeping y as a constant so the y is outside x e raised to power x second is again y is outside e raised to power x next one is 1 plus is there any term which in, does not involve x when you multiply them this component it is a 1 into d1 so that's over what is the integration of this component is x minus 1 e raised to power x y e raised to power x plus x plus y is equal to c firstly find y minus 1 later on we will find this what is the value at x is equal to minus 1 this is my minus 2y e raised to power minus 1 y e raised to power minus 1 minus 1 plus y is equal to c so i can take y as a common minus 2 it is a minus e raised to power minus 1 plus 1 which is c plus 1 so what is the value of the y c plus 1 of this so clearly say the denominator will be e minus 1 fine so this option is cancel only these two options are here now it will be c plus 1 of e e minus 1 so if c is equal to 0 then this is the right answer if c is equal to 2 1 it will be here so i can apply now i can apply this condition because the answer is dependent on the 
So what is the y of 0? When x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1. So this is 0, e raised to power 0, 1. This is my minus 1 plus this is my plus 1. This is 0, this is plus 1 is equal to c. So c is my 1. So 1c is my 1, so b is my right answer of the problem. Okay, look at this another one. Initial condition given, you have the two cases. Okay, firstly I can choose this case. I think there is no need to solve this because for this case all the answers are same. Fine, but anyhow if some of the answers are different, how you can solve? Firstly you can choose fx is my 2. So for this case, n plus 1 is 0. So solution will be c e raised to power minus x. And if it is a 2, then how you can find the particular integral? This into 2, it will be my 2. Fine. Now, how you can find the initial condition? Because 0 is lies in this case, so I can find the y of 0 is 0. It means c is my minus 2. So the right answer is here. Fine. So this is my here. Now look at this case. Whenever x is my greater than 1, but there is no initial condition imposed. Fine. What is the tips? A very simple tips for you. Function should be continuous. Fine. Check about the x is equal to 1 because the breaking point is 1. For this case, what is the solution when x is equal to 1? e raised to power minus 1. So if I open this, 1 minus 1 over e. I can check about x is equal to 1. 2, 1 minus 1 over e. Both are same. Right answer. x is equal to 1. Answer is 0 but this is non-zero x is equal to 1 1 minus 1 over e into e raised to power 1 over e which is not same as of this case fine so this option is cancelled for this x is equal to 1 it is e raised to power 0 that's a 2 but this is not equal to 2 so the right answer is a is my right answer ok look at this another one what is that? This is dx over dt minus x. Can you think about that? It is my Bernoulli equation. Fine. So firstly, I can give you the tips. How you can solve the Bernoulli equation in a simple manner. Remember, py is equal to qy raised to power n. You can find the integrating factor directly. 1 minus n into p dx and solution will be 1 minus n into integrating factor 1 minus n q into integrating factor fine now if i compare this p will be my minus x q is the coefficient of is a linear in t so coefficient of this is a x square n is my 3 fine no sorry is it, it is linear in x it is linear in x so p is my minus of t q is my t q n is my 2 so what is the integrating factor e raised to power 1 minus n into minus of t so it is e of t square by 2 so solution is y instead of y is it is my x so x raised to power 1 minus n into integrating factor which is 1 minus n right hand side is t cube into t square sorry e raised to power t square over 2 now how you can solve that i can simply take this is my z then t into dt is my dz so this part i can return as minus t t square i can minus I can multiply 2 and divide it by 2 as well. Fine. So what will happen? This is my z. This is my dz. So it is integration is z into ez. Fine. So what is the integration of this? z minus 1 e raised to power z. So I can write this solution in terms of reverse. So I can substitute the value of the z. z is my t square minus 1 e raised to power 
t square here fine now your target is to find the value of root 2 so i before i i will find this later firstly i can found it t is equal to root 2 what is this part sorry plus constant this part will be my 0 so this part will be my e raised to power 1 over x which is c so my solution of this will be e divided by c fine now my target is to find the value of c so c i can found from here so what is the i can write for you here x 0 or t 0 so e raised to power 0 is 1 x is my 1 minus of t t is 0 so it is my minus 1 e raised to power 0 1 plus c so 1 is equal to 2 plus c so c will be minus 1 so the right answer is minus e so you can write up to the two decimal places 2.718 you can convert into the two decimal places that is 2.72 is my right okay look at this another one again you can think about the exact i can write m dx m into dx plus x minus 2y into dy is 0 this is my m this is my n so what is that m with respect to y 1 n with respect to x 1 which is exact so once this is exact you can find the solution of this keeping x constant y constant so x square by 2 minus 2xy from this case it's a y square over 2 fine or i can simplify this is uh, y of 1 is 1 and your target is to find the y2 what is the y2 when x is equal to 2 it's my 2 it is my 4y it is my y square over 2 it is my c so it dependent on the c fine okay y of 1 is 1 so it is my half minus 2 plus half is c so that means c will be my minus 1 so i can substitute here if c is my minus 1 i can take the lcm minus 4xy plus y square which is minus 2 so it is my minus fine now you can see it is a quadratic equation you will get the two roots like y square minus 6y it is 3 3 means 3 to the 6 fine is it fine okay now can you factorize it 5 and 1 no 3 and 2 no oh i i wrong it this is my m i have to integrate this is m sorry it's a wrong solution i need to calculate this is the m i consider this is m this is the m integration of this m keeping x y constant x square plus x y is there any term here it's a minus y square which is equal to c fine now your target is to find the y2 y2 means 4 plus 2y minus y square is equal to c fine now because we need a c i can substitute y of 1 is 1 so 1 plus 1 2 minus 1 so c will be my 1 so it means i can write y square minus 2v is a 1 is a 3 of oh, fair so i can solve it it values my 3 and minus 1 but since we need only the one solution fine so once we need only the one solution how you can identify the one solution so for that i can see here so my solution is x square plus xy minus y square is c is my 1 or i can write quadratic in here fine now can you find the value of y minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac 4ac divided by 2 fine or which is 5 x square minus 4 over 2 check with whether the positive or negative which one satisfied here y of 1 1 plus minus 1 over 2 so clearly say the positive value will satisfy this initial condition so i can substitute 
द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई टू फॉर द पॉजिटिव वैल्यू सो इट मीन्स टू ओनली द पॉजिटिव वैल्यू इज अ फोर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी माइनस फोर सिक्सटीन ओवर टू फोर प्लस टू सिक्स सिक्स ओवर टू इज माई थ्री इज द राइट Okay, look at this another one. Twenty twenty three. Again, I can write this in terms of the m dx into n dy form plus two x minus y into dy. So clearly, say this is my m, this is my n. M with respect to y is my two, n with respect to x is my again two. So what is my solution? Is integration of this two x y minus x square by two. Minus y square over two is my c. Then again, if you find the value of the y, you need a unique answer, but it's a quantity. So I can firstly simplify this. It is my four x y minus x square minus y square is two c. I can find the value of c firstly. Y of one is three. It means four x y twelve minus one minus nine is. Two C is a ten. C is my one. So I can substitute here. It's a y square minus four x y plus x square plus two is equal to zero. So now it's the quadratic. So I can again because it you will get a two solution, but we need only the one solution. So y x plus minus sixteen x square minus four x square minus eight divided by two. It is my 4x. It is my 12x square minus 8 divided by 2. Check what is the value of the y1. It's a 4 plus minus 12 minus 4 over 2. So which value will satisfied? If you take, is it is it satisfied, or is there any error? So 4x. So when you take x equal to 1. Is a four plus four eight. It will be four plus minus two over two. Which value will satisfy? Four plus two six over two three. So it will be six over two and two over two. That's the positive value will satisfy. So it means my solution is four x plus of this one. Fine. Now this is my solution of this. Now you can check about the y three. What is the y three? It is twelve plus nine one zero one zero eight one zero eight minus eight ten. Okay, it's a twenty two over two, not one. Clear? Okay, but if you substitute this three at here, it will satisfy. Clearly, say it satisfy. Fine, but this is not the right answer because it's a quadratic. So y, what is the y of two? If we substitute two, it's a eight. Plus is a four forty eight. It's a forty divided by two. So I can take four as a common. That's a two four plus is a right answer. Y dash is bounded or unbounded. So clearly say the derivative is unbounded when when this square root part will be goes to the zero. So that means if I divide it by four. 3x square minus 2 will be 0. That means x will be my here. So whenever you take x in the neighborhood of this, it will be unbounded. So you can see this is my neighborhood. It is unbounded, but he said bounded. This is bounded because it does 2 by root 3 does not belongs to this case. So the right answers are b and d are the right answers. Okay, look at this one. The integrating factor of this. So if I divide it by x on this case, the integrating factor is e raised to power three plus one over x. So what is that? E raised to power three x plus ln of x. So e raised to power three x into x is the right. Look at this another one. If k is a constant such that this satisfied my here, again I can. Is a linear in x. So I can write x squared minus x minus one over x y, which is x minus one over x. Clear? Now, can you find the uh, 
integrating factor e raised to power of this so it's a minus x plus 1 plus 1 over x so what is that is a 1 over x will be my x is a 1 minus x it's a integration of 1 minus because i need a whole square so i can return this number is 1 minus x whole square over minus 2 derivative of this case so i can take this is x e raised to power minus half x minus 1 whole square so my solution will be y into integrating factor x minus 1 whole square q right hand side is 1 minus 1 over x or x minus into x of here fine so this will, will, will cancel out x minus 1 e raised to power half x minus 1 whole square so that's very simple fine you can see the solution of this if you substitute this as a y it will be my minus dy so this is my just like say if i substitute z it is minus e raised to power z into e raised to power z fine so the solution of this will be here fine so i can write here z plus 1 e raised to power z plus constant so this is same of the same so if i divide them it will be cancel out and it is my e raised to power this value fine now you can see if you compare them its value on the left hand side so it is x y minus 1 it is c e of x minus 1 whole square by 2 so if you compare them k is my plus k will be my k is my minus 1 c is my right so we will see the next lecture on the second order differential equation till then you can simply like share and comment on videos best of luck students happy luck